what accounts for the situation we're in, what, what brought it about, is uh, the answers to that are lacking. And, uh, and I think the answers, the answer to why it's lacking is interesting itself. In other words, if you implicate the whole, all of civilization, then, uh, you know, that's not going to be welcome. That's uh, for various reasons. What do you do with it? And besides the fact that it's too radical to pose it that way. But that's what you have to do. In other words, the question of civilization, I think, is basically the question of domestication. And I often go back to Freud's civilization and its discontent, which really is about domestication. Uh, more precisely, he's talking about what happens when people are domesticated and he, he concluded that you get neurotic people you get people that are that have this psychic wound that never heals because you don't get over domestication it's a condition that is that is unhealthy that has banished instinctual freedom and eros so how could people be happy i mean it's, it was a very radical uh insight that he had and that's it's civilization comes on the heels of this move of taming people and starting with taming or domesticating animals and then plants in other words agriculture and various people have said it was the biggest mistake of human beings to that shift to domestication away from the foraging existence the hunter-gatherer taking freely from nature uh, what, what is provided by nature rather than engineering it and uh, capturing it in, in, in terms of private property and uh, farming. So, in fact, you can go further back, an even more basic social institution, which in turn sets up the domestication, which sets up civilization, is specialization, is division of labor, which seems to have labored very, very slowly along for thousands of generations, which is probably why it wasn't so much resisted. It was because all of society is incorporated or goes along with something that primary as a slowly emerging specialization. But that slowly emerging specialization sets up tensions and inequalities. And one can see it, if we flash back to the present, we see ourselves as completely under the effective control of specialists. We're de-skilled, we're totally reliant on different experts. Well, this, this began somewhere. Again, <clears throat> maybe almost imperceptibly, but you have these uh, differentials, and perhaps the shaman was the first full-blown specialist with power over others. Uh, not that that's always uh, so malignant, but it's, but it's a condition that was not there before that. So with the movement of uh, division of labor, uh, that sets the stage, I think it's probably fair to say, for the advent of domestication. That's another takeoff point, but there wouldn't be the takeoff basis without the, without the specialization coming along. And then the next move, the pivotal uh, move of alienation is to uh, domesticated life, and that's exactly what we have now. I mean, it's genetic engineering and cloning and uh, nanotech and, and all the rest of it. It started with uh, with farming, and this is the logical fruition, the extension. It's just another step of control. It's just the, it's an inner logic, to use Adorno's phrase, and uh, unless it's cut off, it continues. You, you just have more and more control. You have more domination of nature, and uh, you know, with more resources to to uh, flesh it out. Flesh it out is the wrong way to put it, I guess. But to to uh, to bring it along to further heights of uh, of control. <clears throat>